a horror with Haas road to 200 subs contest entry. Hi, welcome to Garage Geek. I discovered a new channel, Horror with Haas, and he is holding a contest, his road to 200 subs, and I would love to support him. Now, I first saw him on David Diggs' channel. Now, originally, I think David Diggs' channel was also called David's Horror or something like that. I know there was some kind of name change in there. I first came into contact with David Riggs through Christmas Santa exchange horror with Haas he has three questions that you need to answer with movies the first one is what is your favorite movie this year second is what is your most anticipated film and do you have anything autographed from someone in the movies so I'm going to do this with three things just like I always do I'm going to use movies comics and music my favorite movie this year would have to be either nope or tar like, I loved both movies. I've reviewed both of them. Now, what is my favorite comic this year? I'm going to have to probably say Gideon Falls. Uh, this is the second volume. So I was very much anticipating this because I had read the first volume. And even though this is this goes in a different direction, I was still very pleased with it. And let's just go ahead and show a splash page. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that artwork. And there you go some cockroaches running around. My favorite music this year would probably have to be this uh, Pink Floyd release. Just because as you can see, I haven't even taken it out of the shrimp wrap yet. And that's because I need to buy some more sleeves that are gatefold. And I didn't want to take it out of the plastic till I got my gatefold sleeves. Uh, I really bought this because I love the updated artwork. I know everybody buys it because of the updated music, not me. I just loved this updated cover. So now we're going to get to the most anticipated film. My anticipated movie that I'm really, really excited about is the upcoming animated Spider-Man movie. So this one is, I think it's going to be called Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Across. The first animated movie was so good. It was so beautiful on uh, a movie screen. Right? And I think it was 3D. It was just a gorgeous, gorgeous film. And this comes out at the beginning of June. So my most anticipated comic that is coming out is going to be Spider-Man Epic Collection, Spider-Man or Spider-Clone. Now, there's going to be a picture of it on screen. Now, this is one of those crazy comics that I read as, read as a kid. And this just like stuck in my mind. This run of Spider-Man is probably some of the greatest comics ever written. Another reason that I'm very excited about this is that I have these epic collections. I'm kind of going to go through them. But the first, we have the first eight. And so we have a gap from eight until 15. And the epic collections are just put out, the, the, the volumes aren't put out in order. But over the last few years, we have gotten one through eight. And that brings us up to 1975. And we're all the way at Spider-Man 142. So I'm really looking forward to this because it's moving in when I started reading the comic. These were the comics that my older brother had and I read them. And so I'm really looking forward to that next volume. I just want to quickly go through, like these are the Ditko years. Here's number one, Great Power. Number two, Great Responsibility. I love that cover. There you go, number two. Number three, Spider-Man No More. And look at this amazing back cover. Look at that. That's that John Romita stuff, man. Awesome. Here is number four, The Goblin Lives. Number five, The Secret of the Petrified Tablet. There's Kingpin. We've got six, The Death of Captain Stacy, and this is around where I started reading it as a kid. Number seven, The Goblin's Last Stand. And everybody who's seen the movies, they know, they know all about this now. There's Doctor Strange on the back. Man Wolf at Midnight with Hammerhead on the cover. And that iconic, look at that with the Sinister Six, or one incarnation of the Sinister Six. And then we jump from number eight to volume 15, 
which is in the middle of the 80s, 84. And there you have the black suited Spider-Man. So I'm very much anticipating filling in the gaps from eight, so nine to 14. Now my most anticipated record is, uh, Record Store Day is this Saturday and there's a Madonna release. My husband gets very excited about getting anything Madonna related. And so I'm very excited about that because it makes him happy. So we're both gonna get in line and I guess the record store day is gonna probably be crazy this this time around because there's a Taylor Swift release and there's a Kiss related release. Both of those could possibly draw a crowd. Um, we'll see. But anyways, I'm I'm excited to help my husband get that record store release of Madonna autographs. Now I'm not big on autographs. I I could care less well if I have something autographed or not. It's just not my thing. Power to you if you're one of the people who wait around for an autograph. But like this is like the only thing movie related that I have autographed and I've shown it before. So this is from Christmas Story. I, I got it at the, the Christmas Story house in Cleveland. <laughs> really like this though. Now that I said I don't really care about having autographed things, this is cool. Oh, I also have a book signed by Calm Toybin, which I could have shown but I'm not dealing with books here. So so what would I like to have in comics signed? Oh no, in movies? I I mean, there's so many I could pick. I, I would guess like Scorsese, maybe the movie Silence. That would be cool to have signed uh, just because I had a great connection with the book. As for comics, I mean, George Perez, John Byrne, Maybe even Stanley. I think those would be uh, amazing people to have signatures from. And in music, I would have to say anything Chris Isaac or Sinead O'Connor, I think would be great to have signed. All right. I want to thank Horror with Haas for doing this contest. Uh, there will be a link below. Please sub him. Also, I'm going to link David Riggs, who also talks about movies and host trivia. Does a lot of fun things. So please go ahead and sub them up if you haven't. And again, I want to thank you for your support.